Hey everyone, so I got a haircut and I am, I'll be honest, I did not want to go this short. Um, when she was going to cut my hair, she goes, oh, I'll be like right here. I'm like, okay, cool. I donated my hair. It was all like virgin hair, one length. That's what they really wanted. And it was in really good condition. Um, <clears throat> and I've always wanted to donate my hair. I've been wanting to do it since I was like 15. That's when I first got my hair like highlighted. And every time, I will always have long hair. So every time I want to cut it, I was like, can we donate it? And the lady was like, oh, no, you can't donate like bleached hair, which I totally understood. Um... So I was like, okay, so now I grew out all my hair. My hair used to be red and I grew all that out. I dyed it and I grew it out and then I cut it, chopped it off, off chopped it all off last year and then I grew it out this year and I was able to donate it and it was about a little over 12 inches that I donated and this is why it's so short. Like, I don't mind donating to the, to, I think, Locks of Love, but I never had my hair this short before and I wanted things, so... I got me some bangs, so I wanted to just like, you know, if you have, you know, really nice long hair and you want to donate, that's awesome, but if not, that's totally fine. You know, you, you do, you, you're going to do what you want to do at the end of the day. But anyways, I want to share with you my favorites for the month of December. Now, I'm only doing my favorites for the month of December only because I didn't film for pretty much the whole year because my computer was broken. So. I'm only going to do this month of December because I started filming I think last month or the, the beginning of this month or whatnot. So I'm just going to show you my favorites for this month of December and it's not a lot. It's just a little bit but I've been picking this stuff up a lot. So let's get to it. So my first item is this Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops with C, like vitamin C I think and lemon lemongrass and this is a radiance oil. And I have dry skin. I feel that this is amazing if you have dry skin. Uh, what I actually did today, because I can never use a brush since I have dry skin. So I put my foundation all over my face and then I put, I got a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And I put a couple drops on the tip and I kind of worked it in and it came out looking really good. I had no texture, no dry skin issues, which I'm happy about because that's my biggest problem. I have so much dry skin. Well, not dry skin, but my skin is so dry that I don't like to use a brush because I, you can just really see that texture. My other favorite is ColourPop's Brow Gel. I think that's what it's called. And Banging Brunette. And I have very dark eyebrows. I didn't fill them in since I have bangs. I don't want to fill them in today, to be honest. But I didn't fill in my, bang, my um, eyebrows today since you can't really see them. That's how they look natural. Um, and... I do like to use this because it looks beautiful. It doesn't look like I have my eyebrows look too fake. And that's one thing I don't really like. I don't like my eyebrows to look really fake, like really drawn on. So I put this on with a Chanel brush, which is a Chanel number four brush, which is just like a little tip like this, but any brush you have would, would definitely work. And I like to use this one because I just feel like it looks more natural when I do it. But I like to pair these two up together. And I just love this. Um, my eyebrows are pretty black. And I did get black and brown or brown and black. I think that one's a little too dark for me. And Bang & Burnett's just perfect. My other item is this Tarte um, Eyelash Curler. Now, the only reason why I bought it, because I love the color purple. <laughs> purple. And it has like a purple rhinestones or gems or whatever you want to call them. And I just loved it. So... I'll be honest, I didn't like it and wanted to return it because I couldn't just like get it down. Like how do you put like curl your eyelash? Because I use both my hands to curl my eyelash. So I finally got it down. So I don't do this. I do this if that makes any sense. But I feel like this is the best way for me to do it because I feel I'm not going to pinch my eye. Next is a ColourPop eyeliner and it's called Zulu. I like that name. That's the only reason why I bought it. Plus the color is pretty. I'm wearing it in my waterline. But they do have this in a gel form and every time I go on the website to see if it's available, it's not. It's still not in stock. But that's how it looks. And it's a beautiful blue. Like this is one of my favorite shades of blue. So 
I put that on my waterline almost every day or almost every time I'm wearing makeup because it's just my favorite shade of blue and then it really does help out bring out brown eyes which are my natural eye color so I do do that I'm talking a lot with my face right now because of my bangs <laughs> next is the Anastasia Mario palette um, master palette by Mario and I know these are no longer available I was so blessed enough when these came out I was very blessed to be working at Sephora at the time so that's why I bought this palette and all these shades are beautiful beautiful don't get me wrong like Claudia's beautiful Bronx but I like more like lighter shades natural shades um, but the eyeshadows are nice and soft and creamy which I do like about them but it was a little pricey for you know his eyeshadow palette but I like Luna I, I'm actually wearing, wearing Luna right now in my um, crease it's just a beautiful Oh, Lula, I'm sorry, Lula. It's just a beautiful color. Beautiful. And then it's the Modern, Re Re Modern Renaissance palette that I'm just like, thank you, Sephora, for bringing it back in while also working there. Because if I wasn't working there, I would not have purchased those two palettes. Um, I did get a discount. That's the only reason why I bought them. Let's be real. Beautiful shades again. But there is a lot of pink colors in here, like pinky tones, which is totally fine. But some people don't like that. I'm just like... How do you not like this? But I do like all the shades in this palette. Um, there's one shade. I actually put these three shades right here in my crease and it looked beautiful. Gorgeous. I was like impressed. But I love this palette. I know this palette is permanent. permanent. So if you ever get a chance, I would totes recommend. Totes you like that. I would totally recommend for you to check it out. Um, <clears throat> a nice palette and next is my ColourPop liquid lipstick now I just did a video on it saying like how I don't really like them this and that yada 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 well I didn't really know how to use them like I've had them for a year I didn't know how to use them so finally because every time I put my foundation on like my foundation gets on my lips so I just like wiped down my lips make sure there was nothing on it and then I put it on and oh my goodness I love them I was just like, what was I doing wrong before? That, that's what I was doing wrong before. It was always like patchy. It wasn't going in nicely. Yada, yada, yada. So the one I'm wearing today is Beeper. And I love this shade. It's a gorgeous shade. And I know um, people are like, oh, it might be like a little too brown or whatnot for them. But I think it looks gorgeous on me. I feel that this is just a little bit darker than my natural lips. Because when I was putting it on, I was like, this is a little bit like my lip color. But not, but this is just a little bit darker. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm not crazy. No, I'm kidding. I'm just a little crazy. Next is, um, I got this at Pottery Barn Outlet. The Pottery Barn Outlet. And it's this little carousel. And it holds all my makeup brushes. And if I would take out all the makeup brushes out, it looks like a crown. And I just love it. It spins. It's a little bit more... It's clear because I used to have another car carousel that my brother bought me from the party barn um, store that we have here. And I liked it, but it was just like this bit was just too deep. And you could, it was like see through. So I didn't really like that it was see through. But I've always wanted one of these. And it holds all my makeup brushes and it spins nicely. And I got it for such a great deal at the outlet. So, like, I suggest if you love party barn like I do, I totally suggest for you to go and check out. <laughs> I dropped my book to tell, go check out um, the outlet. Oh, I'm so sorry. I damaged it. So, next thing is I actually got for Christmas my best friend and his husband. I'm going to include his husband because he's so nice. Um, actually bought me this cookbook for Christmas. And I love cooking. As you know, I already have a cooking video up. So, you guys go check that out. So, I kind of want to do another series. Um, it's cooking related. So, I want to do another series where... I try people's recipes and see if they're great or if they're not great. I don't know. I'm still kind of playing with it. The idea. But I do have some recipes. I do want to try it in this cookbook. Like the one that I really, 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 really want to try is the chicken pot pie soup. And that's what it looks like in the picture. And um, I just love chicken pot pie. I believe I make a really good recipe of chicken pot pie. Um, so I do want to try it. Give it a go. And if I do like it, that 
I'll let you guys know. So I'm gonna do my version of chicken pot pie, and then I wanna do like my like new series. I don't know. I'm, I still have to. Talk to I, I still have to talk to a couple people to see if that's like a good idea or whatnot, and um, go from there. So I'm really happy I got this book. I've been wanting this book forever, and my parents and my brother didn't want to buy it for me because they say I have all these cookbooks and I never use them. But well, I just like to use them as references. That's why. References. Ref. Ref. To reference. I feel like I'm saying that word weird. And I want to say that is it for all my favorites. Oh, however, I forgot two things. It's silly me. My new math book. I'm so happy that I purchased it. However, I feel like I want to buy another one next year only because this is a MacBook Air and I'm going to buy a MacBook Pro next year because um, it's not like I need more memory in my computer and I didn't realize that this doesn't hold that much memory. I kind of it is what it is. I'm happy that I have it, don't get me wrong. But I do want to buy a new one next year. I don't know if I'm going to buy a desktop or another laptop. Uh, because of that. And then, my other thing that I really love. Oh, it's Hosier. The album that he released like a couple years back. The one that has like, Take Me to Church and Angel of a Death Cabby. I think I'm saying that wrong. Oh, it's called Hosier. That's his album. It will be, it will come back. Like. I love that album. I always I listen to it like every day, every year. Like I have a couple songs in that album on my playlist, and I just love it. I listen to it every time around this this time of the year because it's just a nice album. And I don't know, I love it. I think that is it for all my December favorites. And hopefully, oh my computer is just thrown on the bed. And hopefully, you guys. Oh, so is my pillow. This is my pillow that I always have on my back. I got it like years ago. Like, mm, I think it was nine when my mom bought it for me. So, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I am, I know for a fact, I'm going to be recording a lot more now since I have my new computer and I have stuff that I want to have like scheduled and whatnot. So, I'm pretty much going to be posting videos from two, like two to like four videos a week. I can't guarantee the four, but anywhere from that, like, um, Two to four, two is like the minimum, four is like the max um, videos uh, a week. And I have so many like great story time videos that I want to share with you. Um, I don't know what I want to call those yet, but I just I just can't wait. And until my next video, I shall see you guys next time. Bye! Don't forget, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe so you keep up with me and this sassy haircut. And I shall see you guys next time. Bye!